This is a working thesis and preliminary works cited assignment. And I'm using this assignment to review with you some of the things that I see often in student assignments that have to do with formatting. And I'm using the online free Word document software that I get through the college website. And this probably applies to Google Docs as well, this formatting structure. So when I have formatted my document, I need to make sure that I have the font done correctly. Now you'll see the font is inconsistent. Some of it is in 12 point times New Roman, but not all of it. And I see this frequently. Um, students will do the bulk of the work in Times New Roman and forget to format the heading here. So if I find that's the case, and notice also I have spacing that's not double spaced here, um, and we have more issues with the work cited, um, but let's just address spacing. So this is single spaced. This work cited is double spaced, but it has that extra space between lines. So we need to fix all of that and the font of the whole essay. So if I want to do that in one shot, I just highlight every word on the page from the heading all the way down to the bottom. And you'll notice that my font disappeared. So I'm going to go up here to this blank Dropbox, click Times New Roman. If it's not recently used for you, you'll have to go alphabetically through. Or right up here at the cursor, you can start typing times. Times New Roman will pop up, and then you can either type 12 or you can hit the drop box and select 12. And so that created 12 point Times New Roman font for the whole thing. Um, and now the line spacing needs to be addressed. Remember I've got, this is single spaced with an extra space between, this is just single spaced, and then this is double spaced with an extra space between. So over here with the three dots on the right, more options, I can fix my spacing there by going to line spacing, just hover, and then go to the two for double space. And you can see that change. That has changed all the way down. It's double spaced now, but this is still a little too wide. And I can see that's the case. You may not see it, but I can because I look at essays every day. So go back where you did the line spacing, the very same place. And you'll notice at the bottom of that drop box, it says remove on one of these things. If either of those says remove, you should click it. There, now it, it got me no extra spaces between lines. This is true for your essays. You want this uh, in every essay, every assignment in MLA format. No extra spaces between the title of your essay and the essay itself, or in the heading, or between paragraphs. Now, um, you should have a heading with your name, my name, the class, and the due date of the assignment. To get page numbers in an assignment, just click Insert, and then don't go to Heading. Everyone wants to go to Heading and then automatically enter the, their own page numbers. Don't do that. It, you'll mess it up. It won't work out and you'll be very frustrated. Go past heading to page numbers. Click page numbers, then go to the one that indicates it's in the top right corner where you want it. And then you just type your last name and then hit the space bar one time. And that little hashtag symbol means number. So it will automatically do your numbers for you. But if you go back to your name and highlight it, you'll see that you can change the font so that it matches the rest of the essay, 12 point times New Roman. All right, then you can double click to get out of that header and it will automatically do your page numbers for you. Um, when you write your working thesis, make sure that you have an argument. So for the literary analysis, Clearly state one or more literary devices that are expressing a certain theme. So make sure the theme is clearly stated that you are discussing in there as well. 
And then for your works cited, you should list the primary source, which in this case, I'm analyzing a song. So the song lyrics should be in there. Um, and the rest of the sources all go together in alphabetical order. So just because the song lyrics are the primary source, it doesn't mean they come first in the work cited. Everything goes in there alphabetically. Now, my work cited has a strange indentation here. This is not a hanging indent. Um, so what I want is the first line of each uh, source to be to the left and all the rest of the lines that follow to be to the right. That's called a hanging indent. So I'm going to highlight just my sources here. Whoop, just my sources. And then I'm going to go back where I did the line spacing. And to find that, since I'm on the insert page, I need to go back to home. And then I find my three little dots here again for my more options. And then special indent. I see where it says first line is highlighted. I don't want that. I want it to be hanging. So click hanging. And then that shows you um, all the line spaces. Now, I don't want to hit a space and have a space in between each source? No, I don't do that. And even though my first source has just one line to it, that's fine. In fact, that's good. Leave it as it is. So the hanging indent with the first line over to the left is what shows the reader where you have a new source citation beginning. Um, again, here is where I've cited my song lyrics. Um, you are welcome to use my works cited as a sample or the whole assignment you know you can use as a template to complete your own assignment. Then if you just download it to your computer, you can backspace where I have stuff and put your own content. Um, so downloading a copy. If you are using an online word processing or word software, you cannot just go from here and share it with me. So you can't just hit share to upload it to Blackboard. You have to go to file and click save as and then click download a copy and use the word document download a copy. Click download a copy again and then it will it will save right here. You could rename it first and save it as something else. And I would actually like to do that. I'm going to come here up here to rename it. So I'm going to call mine Working Thesis. So retitle it so that you can find it again easily if you save it somewhere strange, for example. So now I'm going to hit File again and Save As pops up and I hit Download a copy with the word icon here. I don't want the ODT. I want the download a copy here for the Word document. So I'm downloading a copy again. Now I can see here where it is saved. And when I go to upload it to uh, the link that I need to upload it to, I can just drag it from there or I can find it in my downloads. So when I go to my own computer um, and I click Find, <laughs> document or file, I can look in the downloads section and find it there. All right, I will post this so that you can use it. You don't have to highlight all of your things in the thesis. I just wanted to show you that I am including literary device and theme both in my thesis statement, and I would like you to do the same. You need your primary source and at least three secondary sources. I have one extra, so make sure you have secondary sources, three of them, and the primary source for a total of four sources in your work cited. Let me know if you have any questions. I will answer your emails as soon as I'm back on campus, and I look forward to working with you.